Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Sham Gar Connors from Hartwood District. And you may remember me coming previously where I stated that I was a teacher. And I know that students sometimes aren't suspended because schools lose funding due to attendance issues. I mean, the, the amount of money schools get is based on how many kids attend and the hours they're attending. So <clears throat> I'm hoping that this school year, the principals will choose the safety of other students and staff over whatever monetary value they're promised for a higher attendance rate. No more students attacking teachers and then being put right back in the classroom the very next day because I guess principals have the option to decide to send a kid home or let them come back to school. But today I'd like to talk to you about something on the Stafford County website when you go to register your student. My daughter started kindergarten this year and this is what I saw. There's a form that says you have to give your child mandatory vaccines otherwise they cannot attend school. But this is an infringement on parents' rights because you can submit a notarized form and it looks like this. And if you can just print it out online. And it says Commonwealth of Virginia Certificate of Religious Exemption. And it, you just put your name, birthday, student ID number, and it says the administration of immunization agents conflicts with the above named students, my religious tenets or practices, right? And on the, <clears throat> so the, the problem is you should, you should inform the parents what their rights are. You can't just say, hey, you have to get all these vaccines. There's no other option for you because there's also the law, and I'll, I'll read it for you really fast. It's per VA code 22.1-271.2 and VA code 22.1-3. No certificate of immunization shall be required for the admission to school of any student if the student or his parents submits an affidavit to the admitting official stating that administration of immunization agents conflicts with the student's religious tenets or practices or two, the school has written certification from a licensed physician, licensed advanced practice nurse or local health department that one or more of the required immunizations may be detrimental to the student's health. Okay, so if you all remember, <clears throat> the, if it's manipulative at best and perhaps criminal at worst if you don't just let the parents know that they have this option. And you may remember I was kicked off the kidney transplant list because I refused the COVID vaccine. Well, it turns out I was right in refusing that. And a lot of these vaccines you're seeing a lot of these even students suffering from this, turbo cancers happening, or you got athletes falling dead, including high school athletes all over the country, myocarditis, and all sorts of issues that's going on with this. You know, and then you, you mandate some of these other vaccines like the hepatitis B vaccine, and that was proven in court that you can increase autism rates by a thousand percent. We know pediatricians push all the vaccines and I don't know if they're working with the schools to do this, but they get a $40,000 bonus if they have a th certain threshold of vaccinated people at their, in their practices. That's why they'll fire kids that don't get vaccinated. And so there, you can go to openbears.com and see all, a lot of these adverse events if you want, but I just want the school to fix the registration thing and let the parents know what their rights are. That's all, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay.